it is video one. Um, thing about recording in a super super creaky apartment is that you hear everything including when people are grunting and moving and watching movies and doing other things so <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go but let's try it Um, yeah. Things I want to talk about. Well, I guess I should start off with kind of the idea behind the channel. So, um, Mama Day is like one of my favorite phrases in Cantonese, and it basically means something is very mediocre. It's so so. It's just passable. It's okay. It's not great. It's the equivalent of meh, um, which I think is hilarious. And it's something that I've always thought I, I gravitated towards, I guess, as a, a jokey phrase, but also something that really conjures up a, a, a distinct feeling inside that everybody can really relate to. Like when you eat something especially that you're like, huh, that is all right. Like, um, so I joke around that a lot of the stuff that I make is just kind of mama day. It's just, okay, it's not great. Um, and I think that whenever you try to have a new skill, you pick something up, you learn something, you're inevitably really crappy at it at the beginning. Um, unless of course you gifted in that thing and you just didn't know about. Maybe, maybe that's your calling, I don't know. Um, but skills take time to build and I feel like I've been on this cooking, baking journey for a long time and I just kind of took it upon myself when I started living on my own and decided like I wanted to learn. Um, so really it's kind of just a way of keeping things light and humorous for myself um, while staying, giving myself more direction I think. That's what I'm going for for this year in particular and this project in particular is to give myself direction and say hey like let's actually focus on doing more than just like here's a project when I feel like it there's a project when I feel like it um, recording it and posting it and encouraging myself that you know this may be crappy for me in that moment or not as great but overall the journey is going to be something that's going to be rewarding for me and up until this point it really has been I mean I've taught myself a lot of things that I had before and I know that there's a lot more to learn there's it's going to be a longer journey than where I'm at right now um so for 2020 I was hoping to push out about once a week a video that's the goal it's a pretty lofty goal, so we'll see if that happens. Um, a lot of them will probably be vlog style videos, so it's just gonna be me holding shaky camming um, while I'm working on things. Um, but hopefully at least one video that's nice and trim. Um, and I wanna do you know, recipes. I want to do ones that are like, here, you can actually follow this and do it. Um, and then also ones that are focused on Here's the background, this is why I'm doing this, this is where this comes from. A lot of it will be Asian inspired food, so probably Cantonese, Japanese, Korean. Um, it's usually where I like to play the most and eventually getting into a lot of baking stuff as well because I do enjoy baking. Um, so it'll be a lot of projects but hopefully over the course of the year I'll be able to find some rigor in what I'm doing, get a flow going, and just posting honestly for friends and family to feel closer um, than I have been. 
because I feel like these videos and stuff, I've always taken them just kind of for myself and to have an actual channel where I can share this with my friends and family and, you know, have videos dedicated to certain people and that would really mean a lot more to me. So that's kind of the goal. Um, I did start taking notes for what I wanted to do. So in January, I'm thinking of focusing on hot pot mostly because Chinese New Year's earlier this year. So it's actually coming on the 25th. Um, so I'd probably pick a recipe um, next week and then the following two weeks would be hot pot weekends because um, we do our annual hot pot and then February for sure I know I want to do fermentation because that's something that's been continuous with me throughout last year as well so I want to keep pushing that for this year. Uh, beyond that I haven't had a huge plan for the rest of the year. Uh, I have an idea here there you know kind of spread throughout but I still have um, some more planning to do so I think that I might take a poll from people and see what they're interested in doing. I have a lot of challenges like ideas for fun challenge videos for myself um, so that might be the direction that I go in but overall goals of the channel really just like chronicling recipes, being closer to friends and family, getting better at cooking and baking, um, and just having fun with it. Uh, I know I'll probably get really competitive or uh, I don't know how to describe it. I just get very particular, I think. I, I, I am a perfectionist, like I want to do things that are nice looking um, and that's really what I'm gonna fight a lot uh, with myself over is you know, is this video good enough to just crank out and like go and just whatever? Um, am I going to be spending time like really nitpicking at everything? Um, so I hope that I can get over that and just say like, you know what? It's worth it. Even though it's not as great as it could be, maybe the shots are all weird. Um, at least it's out there and I've documented it instead of having like two post-it notes stuck to a book somewhere. Uh, a word doc on a hard drive, one in the cloud that are just like all bits and pieces of this recipe because usually that's what happens is I find a recipe I decide hey I want to make this and then I start hacking it apart and I'll end up making some version of it whether or not it's a version that was on a tab on my phone or the actual physical copy and then I'll never go <laughs> and actually write it down and keep it somewhere. <laughs> So if it turns out good or more than good, then I'm like, crap, where did that go? And then I'm never able to reproduce it again. Um, but if it's bad, that's fine. Uh, so it's just, it's a funny thing. And I'm never able to make the same thing really twice. I've tried, it's really hard. Uh, everybody asks me like, do you have a go-to recipe? Like what's your favorite thing to make? And it's like, I make a lot of things and uh, I don't think there's anything that I really have that's like a showpiece or a favorite thing of mine to make. I like, I, I have things that I enjoy eating <laughs> that like my mom makes, but nothing of myself that I feel like I've really felt proud of, that I made this, it turned out great and I was like, yes! I'm gonna show everybody this one, you know. So I guess that's another hidden goal of this channel is to just make something for myself that, or multiple somethings for myself that I can feel proud of um, and share with friends and family and stuff. And eventually I'd love to, you know, write these down and keep them. Um, but yeah. For now, it's just I'm going to use YouTube as the dumping ground for this and hope that as it gets more refined, I'll be able to discover for myself where my niche is. And if that's, you know, recreating recipes from my family, if it's 
being that archivist, uh, making sure that I have everything that's, you know, from my family that we've ever made before that I really love, or if it's kind of striking out on my own and deciding like, oh, I'm actually really interested in only kimchi and just making kimchi from now on. Like that's something that I want to discover and determine and go from there. So yeah, that's about it, friends. Um, I'm sure this is like super, super long by now, but I'm trying not to be too anxious about everything. <laughs> it's really hard not to be. Um, I don't want to like disappoint myself, I think. But I think that's also part of it is you kind of have to live in a state of wanting to do better. Um, if you could ever be in a place where you're like 100% with yourself, wow, that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> but we'll start here. We'll start at Mama Day. We'll be exceptionally mediocre and we'll get better through time and who knows years from now maybe we will be able to really sink our teeth into something that's a lot bigger than just any one person and it'll be something great yay okay bye